on the 2017 Kappa Silver Boot. Opens up with the Pool A match between Mitchelton and Grange Thistle. Grange Thistle in their customary orange getting us underway in this first half. As they play it all the way back here to their keeper in Matt Carr. Smith's on the ball there for Thistle. nearby Somerville all into the box the target is Smith send it away and content to play it out for the corner are the Mustangs ball forward in search here of Ben Enjoy rounds his man and denied there by Carr who's Taken a head knock by the ball on the way through and immediately referee Arvi Cohen calling for some attention and there's some concern here from the Grange Thistle players. Now the stretch has been brought out here for Matt Carr just lying in the prone position. So we'll take a look at that again on the replay and... Uh, that's necessitated quite a lengthy delay in this match. The ambulance being called here to Lions Stadium. He's been stabilised. Matt Carr with the neck brace on, just being loaded into the ambulance. So we wish Matt Carr all the best here as he's conveyed to hospital. So play has resumed. We're going to continue out the remainder of the 45 minutes. Could be a late night here as Smiths tests John Walsh there. On there by McVeigh, Josh McVeigh is. Biggins spent last year, a number of years at Brisbane City. Did Enjoy get the touch on? He did indeed. And Mitchelton have the opening goal here. And a 1-0 lead against their close neighbours, Grange Thistle. Tied against that left touch line. Can Thistle find an equaliser here before the break? Biggins has committed the infringement. And Arvi Cohen points to the spot. And that looks to be a good call. So Thistle in stoppage time. Have scored the equaliser. It's Joey Masuda. Of course, we've got quite an amount of stoppage time. So, will be on here for Josh McVeigh. And only moments later, Mitchelton have regained the lead here. The second half action. This is looking for an early goal here in the second half to once again put themselves on level terms. Some of all straight to John Walsh in the Mitchelton goal. Buster Monte loses out that time to the defender. They play back here for Mitchelton. In the air there by Bellardo. McVeigh tries to get onto it. Claims for a penalty and there'll be another one here. And I think we're about to see an early illustration here of the new law changes for 2017 as Arvi. Cohen consults with his assistant. No longer is that a red card in 2017. It's a yellow card. And in the meantime, Ben Enjoy has missed the penalty attempt. That's going to allow Grange Thistle a guilt-edged opportunity here to bring it back to two all. And they've done exactly that. Ryan Adamson collects the second for Thistle. And with three quarters of the match played, here for the offing for both sides. And Josh McVeigh gives Mitchelton the lead again. So when one team scores, the other comes back pretty quickly. Seen that twice again tonight. Adamson back there for Arnold. And this time Walsh able to collect it. Ten minutes to play. Mitchelton with the one-goal lead. Monte was hassled there. 
in the six yard box then from the edge of the box an absolute screamer from Josh McVeigh a hat trick to him tonight and more importantly gives his side a two goal lead and his coach Leo Siriani appreciating that one but Grange won't go down lying down here Dennis Domofsky skews that one high over the crossbar Calls for the foul, not given by the referee. That's full time. Mitchelton have recorded their opening win in the 2017 Kappa Silver Boots. Second match this evening sees the two winners from match day one go head to head. Albany Creek up against Eastern Suburbs. No Roy Sproundley for Albany Creek this evening. Which one of these sides will take the win this evening? and go straight to the top of Group A and put themselves in the box seat to go through to the semi-finals. East with first possession. Jordan Farina getting the action underway. Corey Sewell there. Now Albany Creek on there. And now for Josh Byrne. And penalty shouts here. Was there contact between the East keeper Jack Richards and Josh Byrne. No, it looks to be a fair challenge. Good decision there from Paul Eldridge. Players scurried away pretty quickly, so didn't look to be too many complaints about that decision. Now dink forward here in the direction of Jordan Farina, but he's been waved offside. And yet, just a fraction too early with that run. This is a rock. Oh, not a good challenge in there. And referee Eldridge straight to the pocket. Then Robin collecting the yellow card. Wait challenge there on Chomarop after he'd already played the ball through. Now Narita coming under some pressure there. Free kick is given away. Mr. Lucky escaped that time. Lancaster draws on Bazard there in the Albany Creek goal. So a scoreless first half. Side will open the scoring here. Fujimoto here through for Arop. Richards can't claim it. Richards deep off his line. He's saved by Corey Sewell there with the goal line clearance and ends up coming away with the ball in front of Arop. Now East make a charge forward. Lurking there is Farina at the far post. Nick Robinson just can't get the cross timed well enough. And eventually upended there was the East player. And this time it's Jordan Moist into the notebook. So free kick here for East. Tended to be driven through the wall. It's taken a touch on the way through and out for a corner. Just over a quarter of an hour to play. Will this deadlock be dro broken? Finn Gend looks to play his part. And just wide there from... Tori Omano, hands on head. Bit of a frustrated look there from the Japanese player. Now Farina. He's been able to take advantage here. And Jordan Farina has scored the goal. Or has he? He looked to be offside. Now let's take a look at that. The goal will stand. Will it? No, it won't. It's been waved away. So still we're deadlocked here at nil all. Perhaps better this time for East. Van Gend links up with Jordan Farina. And it's third time lucky here for East and Jordan Farina. He's had two earlier goals waved away. But this time the combination between Michael Van Gend and Jordan Farina, it pays off. East have the lead. Oh, 
And a tight game as it has been so far. That might be enough. Fulton's shot was straight there to Bazard. As Albany Creek looked to force this one into a shootout, but they've given away possession. It's Farina now between the two defenders. He spots the keeper off his line. And that's a spectacular take there by Jordan Farina. That'll be a contender for one of the goals of the tournament. Lofts it high. Bazard off his line. Able to get a touch on it, but not enough to save the ball. Ending up in the back of the net. And East look to have collected all three points in this one. And we'll go to the top of Group A with a late yellow card coming out here. Amano and Corey Sewell over the free kick. Left there for Sewell. And that's high into the new car park. Nonetheless, East have defeated Albany Creek and remain unbeaten in the 2017 Kappa Silver Boots.